Hey everybody, it's Nate Smoyer from Real Team Panda, host of the Tech Nest podcast, coming at you with another product overview. And this time we're going a little bit of a different route. A lot of times I'm hitting you with products and services that help you acquire property, invest in property, even underwrite investment property or manage investment property. But today I'm hitting you with a service called Setter. That's setter.com. And they actually help you manage the property that you own, but owner occupy, not investment. So let's talk through it. Setter manages all of your home maintenance and projects so you can get back to living. They've got a really cool video. I actually really liked their angle on marketing and it's only 90 seconds long, um, but let's talk through it. So it's kind of like this concept where they're giving you a a project manager for your house, okay? And we know what this is like. Look, you, you get the house, maybe it's an older home, maybe it's a little bit of a fixer-upper, or it's just got some projects, okay? If you've got kids, if you know, you know, both, you know, heads of the household are, are working full-time, there it leaves little time to be fixing things. Whether it's a leaky pipe, maybe you've got some new drywall you want to put up because you knocked down a wall thinking you're going to go full-on Bob Vila out on it, right? And you realize that you're just not Bob Vila, you're more like Tim the Tool Man. Okay, and you, you got to have someone to fix it. They get you the person to fix it. So it's kind of cool. Uh, it's all based on a mobile app. So it's right from your phone. So they're really thinking, you know, go ahead of things rather than like signing into a portal and going online and searching for a contractor. And they're not even bringing up the fact that people used to be searching from the yellow books. I love the fact that they don't even acknowledge the yellow pages. I said yellow books, the yellow pages. Okay, so one point person for your home. So you get a project manager. They help you find top pros in every field. So if you don't know who to call to fix something, they help you find somebody. And then they do some proactive ongoing care. So they, you know, make sure that you keep things up on maintenance. I mean, raise your hand if you haven't changed your filter since last winter inside your your your, your HVAC unit. Okay. Come on now. I know y'all ain't I know some of y'all ain't changed all summer long and wonder why the AC stopped working halfway through the summer. So here we go. So they've got some people that they, you know, they put some faces to names here, right? These are the home managers and experts that they have on staff. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump through. So uh, a little bit about the story. So we are Stetter here, and this is on their uh, their page slash our story. You can read a little bit about what, they, what they're doing. They're co-founders. You know, they're based out of originally in Toronto. Um, but you know, I thought they just had a really cool story. I love the mission and to make home maintenance invisible and even co kind of cool the design on that right there. You can read more about it here and they're really only serving two areas right now, Bay area and Toronto. It is a little bit more of a forward thinking service and, uh, you know, it, they've been around for a few years. They're not quite on thumbtack level, but I don't know if they're trying to be okay. Now back on their website, if you click the red button, get started, what that does, that takes you to, you can text or you give them the, your phone number and they'll text you a link to download the app so they don't say go search us in the app store. They just send you the, the link and it, it worked out pretty well. Um, you know, here you go, that's my phone number. You guys all have my phone number by now. Anyway, uh, they send you the link, they confirm it and then you can close it out and you're good to go and download it, okay? You know, love your home life. Okay, so I'm gonna look at the marketing side of, of a little bit here. So, they're relatively new. You can see that they haven't really been driving much traffic up until late. Now, a lot of this has to do with their most recent round of funding. They've got a lot of attention around the funding and probably not as much as I would have wished they would have gotten. Uh, you know, I think services like this will really feel a void. Look, anytime anyone's hiring a contractor, we just don't know who to trust, right? You need some help on who to trust. So anyway, uh, you can see some of the keywords that they're ranking for they're not doing a whole lot in uh, the paid search route right now. And I actually think that's not such a bad thing. A little bit in display advertising, I would be thinking that they would be pushing more directly within the app store. Uh, I would be leveraging Facebook mobile uh, for uh, direct app installs right on the, uh, you know, the Facebook platform. It's pretty seamless the way it works. Um, and so let's actually take a look at their Facebook page. So I actually learned about this uh, from uh, through Pete Flint. He had announced, you know, he's very excited that their fund uh, NFX uh, had, uh, alongside with Sequoia, uh, had invested in Setter. So that's how I first learned about it. 
Let's jump over to the page here if my page will load. Okay, good. So I wanted to point these things out. First off, here's a, a handful of recommendations already up on the page. So people are using it and loving it. Great service, friendly. Uh, setter's been a joy to interact with. I recently signed up to patch some rather holes in my living room wall. You know, so people are using it, recommending it, which is amazing, uh, pretty quickly. And it looks like it's actually filling um, a pretty good uh, void of, you know, homeowners who just don't want to do the repairs. Now, I want to take a look at the Facebook ads because I noticed something that was really interesting. So they have a handful of ads running at the moment. Again, they're only in two cities, the Bay Area, San Francisco, and Toronto, okay? So they've got these uh, slider ads here. These look like retargeting ads to me with the whole, whoops, with the whole sliders. And you can see that loads their website. And then they've got, you know, do you love Palo Alto? Do you love Mountain View? Okay, so it's very clear what the targeting is. They're running on this. Another one here, like no one wants to pull out the stuff from the gutters. Also, how many of y'all are actually doing it? Maybe you don't even want to cut your grass, clean your pool, right? Some of the higher end stuff. Um, but their ads, they, they actually only really have two pages. And, and, you know, they're just pushing directly to the text thing, which I didn't think this was a very good landing page for ads. Um, and then back to the home page. And I would not advise advertising and pushing traffic to your home page. You know, if you, if you can build out something that's really a little bit more specific. However, their home page could also work for a, a landing page because of how pointed and direct the call to action is. It's easy to get started. There are not multiple things to do except for get started and watch the video and the video drives you into it. All right, we're getting, let me wrap it up. Uh, Crunchbase, we're looking at how much money they have raised. So a total of 12 million, their most recent was 10 million. As I already pointed out, uh, that was led by two investment uh, uh, firms and you had uh, NFX and you had Sequoia on those uh, on that latest round of 10 million. And then last but not least, I always like to show this, uh, Setter is actively growing. They're putting that money to work and they're hiring. So uh, found their page on Jobs Lever. Okay, and they're looking for a marketing manager, marketing retention, some positions in finance and customer uh, success, as well as engineering. So that is Setter. Setter, um, check it out. It's pretty cool. If you're in the Bay Area or Toronto and you've used Setter, uh, let me know. I'd love to hear from someone who's actually used it. I'd love to hear some comparisons between Setter and Thumbtack and what's going to set out, you know, or make Setter stand out from Thumbtack, what gives them the advantage over them and the, and the real differences there between the two platforms. Um, anyway, that's Setter, and uh, we'll do another one of these. We'll have another one uh, for you guys next week. I'll see you guys then. Thanks.